Hello guys. Um, I use this one as you saw in my last video and as you saw in the last video it was loud. Very loud. So I decided to buy an even louder fan. A Noctua Industrial PPC 3000 RPMs and uh, it moves a very much more air on 3000 RPMs and it sounds about six and a half decibels louder than the old ones but in compensation of that it uh, pushes around 60 cubic meters of air more per hour and this is the funny thing because the design of the Noctua fan is exactly the same uh, on the industrial and the consumer variants but the consumer variants are capped at a maximum I think of uh, less than I think it's 1800 or 1500 RPMs but it's, it's exactly the same fan and that means when I drive this one in 2000 RPMs it will have a decibel count of 29.7 that might not sound so much because it's 10 less than these ones but the thing is on 2000 rpms this one is 10 decibels quieter and moves exactly the same cubic air through uh, the radiator and that is a plus and for those of you who don't uh, can't be bothered with uh, checking out my first video on um, review of this. I can tell you today it's uh, now 28 degrees Celsius and now I will start the computer so you can hear uh, the sound of the old fans and then we will cut and we will show you the sound of the new fans. Come on! Are you ready for some noise? And as you can understand, my wife uh, doesn't really uh, appreciate uh, the sound of this when she's uh, checking out her uh, TV series. Um, it's quite loud. So let's see how it goes with Noctua. Okay, so we have now installed the an industrial PPC Noctua NFF12 industrial PPC 3000 PVM IP52. The IP52 is quite important. Uh, it uh, makes uh, the bearings uh, more dust proof and also slightly moist proof. So if you get a very um, heavy humidity in your area, if you are uh, situated in New Orleans or something like that, uh, they will actually cope with that. So they are dust proof and uh, humidity proof. If you have even higher standards, you can go up, uh, put, I think it's a dollar or two dollars for the fans more, and then you get the IP67, and then you can actually drown the fan and it will actually work still. Um, after putting them in, uh, I can see that at 1800 RPMs, approximately that's what we are uh, shooting for here they are um, actually moving quite I, I can feel it is it's subjective I, I, I know but I can feel very clearly that they are moving just as much or more air than they did uh, the other fans did on full throttle on 2400 rpms the cool thing about this is I can actually crank this babies up to first off I would like to uh, show you how they sound uh, sound I will go to quiet mode first And because they are pushing through a, a radiator, you have to have a very high uh, static pressure. And with this on maximum crank, you have 7.63 millimeters of uh, HG static pressure. And that's a lot. That's, all, uh, that's double what the old fans had. And I will illustrate this by uh, showing you a maximum setting in two seconds. So on quiet, 
They are very quiet but still pushing quite a bit of air. Now I'm going to balance mode. And they sound quite a bit more, but I think I will actually, uh, I think I will actually uh, put them on a lower RPM because they push too much air. It must, it isn't necessary to use the Corsair uh, these high RPMs. And now we're going to performance mode. And now they sound, I, I would say they sound almost the same or identical to the old ones. I would say they sound uh, almost identical to the old ones, but uh, they push very much more air throw on the same RPM. And now we're going to maximum speed. <laughs> This is, is a, if you put them uh, in the bottom of the case, you could po probably levitate the entire case by uh, going to maximum mode. And this is, and this is exactly what I wish to, uh, to accomplish because now I can control the fans. They are a bit uh, less noisy when I drew, uh, drive them in normal. But on hot days like today, we don't have AC here, um, but it's very, very hot. Um, then I can go and do this on a game and I will, can play on maximum setting because I will use all the air in the entire house and will circulate through these fans. So they are awesome. Buy them if you want more power, buy them if you want a reliable one, buy them if you want to control the settings and you need more RPMs than the standard ones does. So, over and out.